Hello, so something that I think is really neat is the process of turning digital things into tangible artwork. One of the older forms is probably ASCII. And contrary to me and you and everyone we know, these images are rarely done by hand. There are hundreds of generators online that help you turn your photographs into text files. Here's one I made earlier. Now most people have probably heard of the website Rastabater, which allows you to turn any digital image into a Rastabated image. Essentially that means dots. And while at close range that might not seem impressive, from further and further away, the magic of Rastabater is undoubtedly awesome. But the idea of images only making sense from a distance was by no means birthed by technology. Chuck Close is my favourite artist who's made use of this novelty. By using a grid system he paints enormous portraits that look incredibly realistic. Unlike Rastivator, which can take up to a full minute with a bad Wi-Fi signal, each painting takes many months to complete. And although now unfortunately severely paralysed, Chuck Close continues to paint in this style, although in a more pixelated form. There's something really pleasing about the presence of technology in art. I'm a big fan of an artist known as Plastic God. He produces these illustrations of iconic people and uh, they kind of remind me of Lego men. 8-bit art is definitely something with a following and a market. Tongue-in-cheek yet inspired. There's definitely something really great about referencing or reproducing something that's digitally anonymous in a self-aware traditional form. By using your hands. I mean, creative minds paying homage to commercial products is nothing new either. Pop art embraced the irony in using images of consumerism, but I guess we're not over irony yet.